you all right? Yes. It was just a dream. That's nice. I'll be home shortly. Bye, love. Charles, my son, foolishness is a disease, an infection. If it is not quickly checked, it will spread to consume you. And I, your mother, Cecilia, will not let it happen. Not while I'm still alive. Mama, what are you talking about? Have a look at the mirror and tell me what you see. Mama, I see myself the son. Charles the Great. The pride of my You child. lied. Just you lied. Oh, they have also made you blind. That you cannot see clearly. Charles, what you are seeing is a man in pain. A man aged and dying in misery. That you cannot speak out. That is what you are seeing. Mama. Mama, Mama, please. Mama, sit down. Sit down. No, I've sat for long. Patiently waiting and praying to see my grandchild before I die. 
See, Mama, God's time is the best. My wife and I are doing everything. Wife? What wife? That log of firewood. Oh, Charles, you call that barren witch that had befriended you your wife? Ma mama, 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 please. Ma mama, enough. I resent to calling my wife a witch. What? Our problem is medical, Mama, and we're doing everything possible to correct it. Oh, they have affected your brain. You cannot stand and talk to me, your mother, like that. Mama, Mama, please, let's not quarrel over this issue. Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You just came. All you need now is to rest and eat something. This is not the best way to go about it. There is no best way to approach evil. You have to attack it with all your might. That I shall do till I rescue you from the hands of that barren witch you call your wife. What is it? Oh, I know you know he is your honey. But what you do not know is that I am the bee that will sting you to death. But you prove the pride of your womanhood. Just have a look at this. This dead body. Wait! I done to deserve these pains I'm going through. All I ever wished for is nothing more than a married life with blessings of the womb like my fellow women. Why would my be of bitterness and anguish? Why would my be a matrimony of sorrows? and a continuous insult from my mother-in-law. Oh God, why me? crying again. Come on, I've told you to stop crying. Your tears will not bring about a permanent solution to our predicament. 
Look, darling, we've gone a long way with this. And I expect that we handle it with maturity and wait unto the Lord. Okay? Wait unto the Lord? How long do we wait before our countless prayers are answered? How long do I wait before I am blessed with the fruit of the womb? I lie helplessly day after day like a like a log of firewood. That's what your mother me. It's all right. A log of Darling, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> Calm down. I apologize for my mother. But please, darling, please. Do not allow the hatred of my mother's gun to shrink your faith. That's how any loving mother would handle the situation. So please, let's just wait on the purpose that God has for us, which I believe its accomplishment is at hand. <laughs> come on, come on, darling, wipe your tears, okay? Wipe your tears. Let's go to bed. beyond him. Oh, Sandra. What haven't I done? Where haven't I gone? I've been to white government churches. Several spiritualists. even gone to that famous shrine all to no avail. Have you tried him? Tried him? Jesus Christ. Have you? Sandra, why are you talking like this? Don't I go to church? I'm a Christian now. I go to church. Juliet, I'm not talking about being a Sunday, Sunday Christian. I'm talking about being a practicing Christian. Giving your whole life to Jesus Christ. Dropping all your problems, all your worries on his feet. That's what I'm talking about. Sandra, I, I make my contributions in church. I pay my tithes. I pray. No. It's not that. It's not just that. You have to know the word of God. You have to read the word of God. Every day of your life. The book of God doesn't lie. It tells us that we have to worship God. In spirit and in truth. You see, there are so many problems in this world. And how do we conquer them? We have to be praying Christians. Not just prayers. Relentless prayers. 
continuous prayers. Well, if you don't mind fellowshipping with me in my church, I mean, my pastor is a real man of God. I believe God will take care of your problem. Well, I, there's no harm in trying. After all, I've gone everywhere. And not, I, I'll come with you. Let us pray. Okay. Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, I thank you for this day. I worship you for this, my sister. I give you all glory. You are the lion of the tribe of Judea. Jehovah. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So you always call my money every time. You know the corporate. No, my name is the professor. I get money. If you go corporate, I'll give you the money. No, you don't say my name now, corporation. Only day I go give you a money. Wait, wait, wait. In your prayers. I want Amen. to, Pastor. Thank you so much. Uh, may the good Lord be with you. Amen. Shall be well with you. Amen. And you'll be with you as you go. Thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye, Pastor. Bless you, Pastor. I just want to. Bless you, Sister. I want to add to what the Pastor just said. See, so long as you believe in His Word, it shall set you free. I am a perfect example of what God can do to someone's life. You see, I used to think that life was all about New York today, London tomorrow, best of clothes, jewelries, I mean things of the world. At a point in time, I started sleeping around when things became so difficult for my husband. But I thank God today. He arrested my life and I gave my life to him. Now I am very happy. I'm happy for you. Thank you. I wait for my own miracle too. Amen. You see, God will do it for you. Amen. Because it's the same God who brought out the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. It is the same God we are serving. He will do it for you. Huh? Don't worry. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Good call. Good morning. <sighs> My late sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I was asleep. Beautiful. Uh-huh. I hope you haven't forgotten what I told you yesterday. Sorry, remind me. I told you I got a letter from home that my mother has not been feeling well. So I need to go for a couple of weeks to stay with her. Or at least until she gets well. Mm? Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. When are you going? Today now. I should be on my way already. You're going to be a difficult period for me. I'm going to miss you, so... Mm. Mm? 
even a minute without you is like hell for me. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> no, when you talk like that, it makes me feel good, it makes me feel beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. I miss you as well. I can make you feel better. Mm. Somebody's going to be late for work. Well, somebody's going to be gone for weeks. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sweet Anna. Uh oh. <laughs> Respect of the visibility story at hand. The market survey and the data collected states clearly that our products are substandard and our adulterated um, materials too. Well, Chairman, sir, there is no need to ask where that question should be directed to the finance department and the marketing department. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, sir. We do respect as a financial manager of this company. I crave your indulgence over this issue. However, I seize this opportunity to tell each of and every one of us in this board that we need not apportion blames on one another. Rather, we should provide a way forward for this our great company. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. Oh, Chairman, sir. This is ridiculous. We are being pushed out of the market by competitors. And you say we should not apportion blames? Is this a church committee, sir? Mr. Charles of Forum, there is nothing wrong with my department. Mr. Obikwilu, it's rather very disappointing that you always choose to quarrel over issues concerning your department. Should we rather sit and watch than look for a solution? Charles! You are chewing off more than you can bite. If you're plotting to see my downfall in this company, I'm sorry. It won't work for you. After all, you have no family values irrespective of being married. You have no children of yours to care for. I'm a married man. Chairman, sir, we do respect. Did you hear him? He's going to us now. Please calm down. And you, Obi sit down. Calm down, too. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Well, my dear lady and gentlemen, I must say it is a shame to turn this internal board meeting into a forum for verbal abuse. Am I meant to believe that you people are tired of your positions and responsibilities in this company? Well, consequent upon this development, we are left with no option except to postpone this meeting for now while I seek an immediate and, if possible, a permanent solution to this crisis.
After all, you have no family values in respect for being married. You have no children of yours to care for. There is no best way to approach evil. You have to attack it with all your might. That I should do until I rescue you from the hands of that barren witch you call your wife. I never still come back. I would have an accident to get you from this one. Ah, I cannot forget that accident. I cannot forget that accident. I cannot stay late in this one. You worry me, I don't know this kind of thing. You worry you, you see they carry out food for my boss. You don't go wait for me. I watch and pray and I know what they do for me. Magnus. I watch and pray now. Let me come back. Okay, gee. Father, I thank you for everything. I thank you for my marriage. I thank you most especially for my husband, Charles. I thank you because you say marriage is a union of man and woman. And you ordained it to be so. Therefore, Lord, I believe that all forces, every evil force that is standing against the fruition of this union, Lord, I command it to be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I say that every obstacle, every force that is standing, that is preventing me from conceiving, that is standing against my marriage, stopping me from being like other women, from carrying my own child in my hand, Lord, I ask that all the arrangements of the evil one, all the enchantment, all divination standing against my marriage, against my being like other women, Father, I command it to be crushed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I give you glory. Ah, oh, Lord Jesus. Father, we declare that we love you. We declare our everlasting love for you. What took you so long to open the door? Sorry, sir. Sorry for the sorry.
the back. Come in. Come in. Okay. Your your food is ready, sir.
Gatil. Why are you sleeping in the sitting room? Sleep? Uh, okay, I, I just sleep. You'd better not repeat this. Now go and prepare my meal. Did you? Sir? Are you alright? Uh, Oga, okay. it be like say I did sick. And then you must see Dr. Frank tomorrow. Yes, sir. I'm going to prepare my meal. I'm aware, Doc. I sent, I sent her over. Are you also aware that she is pregnant? What? Pregnant? My housemaid pregnant? No, Doc. Not in my house. She must leave her house. Oh, thank you, Doc. That's the problem with this house helps nowadays. And to think that her madam is not even around. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Thank you. So why are you coming? Uh, doctor say I am pregnant. Now not be God catch you. Now Satan don't catch you. See, Nkechi, you must tell me who did it to you. You hear me? Magnus, now, now which thing you want to talk with this? So, what do you want to make her talk before? Ah, Nkechi, you think, say, I don't know you've been sleeping with people around this environment. See, I've been suspecting you. And I know, if it is not Okun, that our neighbor has born. Then at that driver where they live for number 15. Or that a bookie where they find you come, where they give you shine shine earring and necklace. I've been suspecting you. Now nah, it don't happen. Mm. Magnus, I, I, I swear to God though. See, what is the way they talk, eh? They never see my pants before. But when they chase me, uh -huh. I talk am. Oh, then they chase you. <laughs> so they don't chase you, chase you, chase you. Chase you and tabele. You see am? It don't happen. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, Magnus, uh, you go fit help me. Borrow me some money. Me okay. I use commodity bill. Eh? Borrow you money to take the abortion. We have for go borrow that kind of money. This one we free. Don't have money. Everything don't high, 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 high. I say make I borrow you money. Sink it. If you know where you bath, go there. Go collect your tower. Me, I no get that kind of money. Set and don't catch you. Shall I tell you? Every time I saw, I saw every compound, every gate. I don't do, I don't do. <laughs> hey, I don't do now. Tell me, Bele. You don't do. Now, Bele, now, spiritual Bele. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Thank you. 
so you've been sleeping around. Now tell me, who impregnated you? Sir, eh, okay, I, I don't understand what you talk. If I hear that again, I will strangle you to death by bare hands and send the cops to your people. Now tell me who's responsible for this pregnancy. Who's responsible? You. <laughs> she dies. Look, please, just suggest something less tragic, please. <laughs> Why? Why don't you just face the truth, tell me? Why? What? what do you mean? You want the child, don't you? Hmm? Well, I... 
I might have given it a thought. But Paul, Paul, the scandal, the scandal. What scandal are you talking about, Charles? Huh? Charles, be a man. Why don't you just accept this girl as your second wife? You might not have this chance again, you know that. Hey, look, Julie will have to accept her own leave. God, I can't do this to her. I can't do this to Julie. Here we go again. I can't do this to her. I can't do this to Julie. Think. Think about your future. You don't have to compromise. You don't have to. Julie can't get you a child. She can't give you a child. Look, Charles, this is just the opportunity you have. The only opportunity you have to prove everybody wrong. Why don't you just face your responsibility? Why? Come on. I'm out of here, man. Take care of yourself. I'll see you later. Thank you. Hey, face your responsibility. Thanks. from. If I refuse this pregnancy, will God give me another? Questions. The fact is Charles of Forum can actually impregnate a woman. I'm a man. Did you hear me? A complete man. How about your madam, Julie? <laughs> Is she all right? Huh? Yes, mama. <laughs> Her husband, Charlie Kwan. Is he all right? Oh, guy is fine. <laughs> I know they will be fine. Look at the way you are looking, like a rich man speaking. <laughs> eh? They are taking very good care of you. Hey, Mama, it's a that buy clothes for you. <laughs> Yoga? Mm -hmm. Why is he buying clothes for me? Does Madame know? 
Mana nomi? Why did you allow him? Oh my, it's not me. Oh, he, he's a girl. He's a girl that can't leave me. Oh, he's, he's not me. Oh, it's not me. I said you to the city to go and help them. Eh? Why did you allow him to touch you? I'm oh, maybe madam. Madam, no born. I, I, I hate madam. Because Julie does not have a child. That is why uh, Oka did this. Mm. Has she known about it? No. So, a uh, guy saying about it now. Hmm? People will soon start saying that I sent you to the city to go and do prostitution. When I sent you to go and help them. What is Oga saying about it? Oga say, Oga say, you marry me. Is it true? Okay, he wants to make you his second wife. Hey. <laughs> Her madam does not know. Okay. What does he call you? What, what is Oga calling you now? Eh, uh, I call Oga Shitim. <laughs> he call you what? Oga say Honim. Shitim, Honim. Are you sure he will marry you? Tell him to come and see us before this, everybody starts knowing that you are. Eh? <laughs> you should come very soon. No? Oh? Listen, uh, one more thing. You have to be very careful. Since your madam does not know, eh? You have to be very careful now. You understand? Eh? Okay. That is good. Okay, see rich man. How's my husband? Uh, he went to work, man. Uh, yeah. Yes, and how's everyone? Uh, we are fine, man. Okay. There are a lot of your people from village. 
be fine. Ah, your mama? She's fine. Okay. Help me here, bring down my bags. Okay. okay. Mm. Where is Nkechi? Uh, she's inside, ma. Inside? She didn't hear me come, ma. <laughs> she's inside. Okay. Just bring them for me. Me. Are you? Yeah. Uh -huh. Original matter. <laughs> Don't come back. <laughs> hmm? Catch me. <laughs> What do you expect people to say? Now, let me tell you, this is a decent home. You go to your room and take this rubbish off before I get angry with you. Are you standing there moping at me? I said, are you standing there moping at me? Oh, sweetheart. You're back. You never told me you were coming back today. This is my home. Am I supposed to announce my arrival? Welcome. Thank you. I think you should be hugging and kissing me. I've been away for three weeks. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, welcome, Doc. How was home? Fine. And how was your day? Um, fine, fine, fine. You're not looking bright. Are you OK? Nothing to bother about. I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. Oh, well, it's good you're back now. Can you take a good look at this girl? What's the problem? Can you see how she's dressed? What's wrong with the dressing? You don't see anything wrong with the way she's dressed? No. What I see is a young girl simply in line with modern fashion. That's what's in vogue for girls her age. My house girl? Dressed like a prostitute? And you don't see anything wrong with it? Well, as long as she remains in this house, my house girl, she will not dress like this. Now you go to your room and take this thing off. I am talking to you, put your room and blood shaped before I get angry with you. I said she was a drinker. Bloody fool. Where did you get on to buy these things to start with? Uh, look, darling, don't get yourself off the house, okay? It's all right. We'll just come back. What, what is she turning into? It's all right. It's all right. I'll talk to her, okay? I'll talk to her. You better talk to her. Um, come on, let's go. Come on. Take my hand back. Can you imagine the insult? It's all right. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Sandra, everything about that girl has changed. From her dressing to her general behavior. And you know the worst thing. Sandra, do you know the worst thing? My husband does not see anything wrong. But it! He doesn't want anybody to reprimand her. Hey? Sister Julia, this is serious, you know. Hey! I'll advise you to be very careful. What do you mean? Why not send her back in? <laughs> Sandra. Sandra, my husband will not hear of it. 
He is quick to remind me that the mother begged me to take care of her. He is quick to remind me that she's just being youthful. That it's youthful exuberance. Sandra, look at me. What am I going to do? Eh? You know, I think this is the time to take everything to God in prayer. Pray over it. When I get to the fellowship today, we will pray over it. And if possible, let's have an agreement prayer. I don't mind, I don't mind, Sandra. Eh? What kind of trouble is this? Calm down. Remember, you are now a child of God. And I know that God will never give you a problem he cannot solve. Madam, just the same way Juliet is a madam in this house. Lower your voice. Lower your voice, okay? I promise to do that. Just give me some time. You see, I would like to break the news to her the way she will understand. Mio, I don't care about how she feels. Eh? Look, if you don't tell her yourself, me, I will go and tell her. Calm, just lower your, fo lower your voice, okay? I I'll do that very fast, eh? As long as, as it will make you happy. Me, I need money. That won't be a problem, okay? Are you happy now? I will happy when I see the money. You know I'll always give you money now. You're my girl. And you're carrying my baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs>
Hello. Hello. Hi, Sandra. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? Family? Ah, God has been good to us. Oh, that's and good. And your husband? He's fine. He's in the office. Can I get you something to drink and eat? Just a glass of water. Just a glass of water. Say, so I made something very delicious. You're going to like it. <laughs> sure you don't want to eat? I'm filled up, fam. Thanks all the same. Okay. Just a minute. Uh, Nkechi? Nkechi? I know it will take you 40 years before you answer me. But please, get me a glass of cold water for my friend. Thank you. Sister Juliet, I did not see you at the fellowship yesterday. My dear, I was feeling very down. I don't know. I hope you're okay now. Well, I'm getting better, thank God. You've missed a lot. So many miracles. <laughs> oh, Mr. Church. <laughs> what is wrong That's how she's been for some time now. She says she has malaria. And with the way she's been vomiting, it's getting very serious. Yes. This is more than malaria. How do you mean? Every appearance of that girl shows symptoms of pregnancy. Believe me. Nkechi. Pregnant? That girl is pregnant. Can't you see her complexion? It has changed. I have been pregnant before, so I don't know how it feels or what it looks like. Believe me, Sister Juliet, I have four kids, so I can tell when somebody is pregnant. That girl is pregnant. I learned from your husband that you traveled, so when did you come back? Oh, not too long ago. Oh, I'm glad I saw you. See, listen, I want to send my house girl over to you. You know, she's been complaining of fever and she vomits a lot also. Oh, those are part of the symptoms. Symptoms? Yeah, those are part of the symptoms of her pregnancy. Or didn't your husband inform you? <laughs> yes, I forgot. Okay. He told me about it. All right, thank you very much. Right. It's nice to see you again. All right, All right bye bye. We'll just take care. All good, right, yeah. Thank you. You're fighting me! 
so address her is worth more than a million of you because she's a full-fledged woman and not a he goat like you she has wiped the shame and mockery you used to subject me to now the next time you lay your filthy fingers on her you're going to leave my house What is really happening to me? Is this some kind of set up or what? Where do I start from? How do I tell this story? Hey! My husband and my house girl. Ah! I'm finished. Someone hitting my ram. I had to run to this place. But don't worry, God is in control. Just lie back, eh? Stay. Like I told you earlier, it's just shock and minor injury. You can take her home. She will be alright. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome.
is in control. Yeah. Just take everything easy. I'm not going to look for that with you. God forbid. Look, I don't care where she goes or how long she stays there. After all, I have you all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you when I get back, okay? Oh. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> Say you don't become for this house. But anything where it is say you don't become for this house, I thank God beg you. Make your mind of business. I'll be you look me finish, I'll be you like Oga. Okay? Will they control any how way you like with your remote control? Press and ping pong. It go answer you. Yes, ma. You think I'll be that kind of person? Mind your business. Go for this. Village girl like you. You are not it. I'm not it. I feel like you. Don't me like that. Sweetie, mouse. Take my husband for you. Hey, hey. Wait. You don't mind. Now, boy, boy, you be for this house. Make a thing. They, they pay down for your head. They go to your village. What? Not before you come to here. Because you don't find another woman's house. They this city, her name, house, you. Make I tell you. Very soon, me, me, go expose you. What you be. Say, think that you don't win. I go expose you. And everybody go know what you be. Ngechi Ujawe Now the mother of Oga's house Hey I will fight Anybody That wants to stand between me And this good life hmm. I will fight With the last drop of blood inside me I have truth, madam Mary But madness 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 seems to be an obstacle to my plans. He is very naughty. I want to do something funny. I think Magnus this has a good lesson. Yes. I have to act immediately. Hey, 
back from home. <laughs>
Поехал. shall be opened unto you. Ask and you shall be given. I seek your forgiveness in any way that I must have heard against you. I seek your mercy This time of hopelessness. Father, I know that your ears are not blocked to hear my cry of anguish. Because I know that you are the God that answered by fire. You answered Moses. You answered Jacob. You answered Elijah. I know that it is my time. I know that it is my time because you even answered Sarah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
your wife has safely been delivered of a bouncing baby girl. I can't believe this. <laughs> Look, I can't believe this. At last, I'm a man. Thank you, thank you very Congratulations, once again. Can I see them? I can see them. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye. Enjoying it. Eh? <laughs> See, eh? right from the time you were still a small child, up to the time you wanted to enter secondary school before your father died, I had always known that you would become a big woman. <laughs> it's just that you have to be very careful. Considering the fact that you are living in the midst of your enemies, all of them they are enemies, enemies of progress. Uh, I am very, very careful. Very, very careful. You have to be. <laughs> Take care of this one well. Yes. Before this one. Not that one. Mama. Ah. Oh, God, Mama. Mama, you're welcome. Thank you, my son. How is everybody at home? Everybody is fine. We were actually expecting you yesterday. Eh. Ah, I had to tidy up a few things in the village before coming. Oh, good. Hey. <laughs> How was the day? My day has been very wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mama came in when you go to office. <laughs> that, that's right. You're welcome, Mama. Thank you, my son. They are it asking you people how you are feeling. I can see it with my two naked eyes. <laughs> Do you find? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. I just want to thank you for the way you are taking care of my daughter and my grandchild. <laughs> and you are taking care of yourself too. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Everything is by His grace. Oh. Oh, let me, let me, let me carry her. You look alike. Come on, come. Mama, I'm a strong man, of course. Hey. Hey. Mm. Uh, uh, your food is ready. I know you must be very hungry by now. <laughs> hungry? Mm -hmm. What you fail to understand is that I hardly feel hungry these days. Because I'm always fed with the joy of my daughter. <laughs> Mama, please, hold her for me. Let me undress. I'll turn you both soon. Thank you. Thank you for this. I think 
Okay. Uh, if, uh... Then what are you still doing here? Don't you know to go to the hospital? Go and see the family doctor and don't die in my house. Get yourself out of this place. I'm expecting some visitors soon. understand, Doctor. Well, congratulations. You are pregnant. What? You are 18 weeks pregnant. Me? Pregnant? I I 18 weeks? Doctor, is this a joke? for yourself. I'm sure there's a mistake somewhere. There's no mistake, Julie. <laughs> you are pregnant. Congratulations. Yes, she she pregnant. Sit off our house now. You mean she's pregnant? Uh -huh. Are you sure it is true? Mama, sweet team, tell me. Oh. Wait, Miss, it could be true. Uh, me too, I think. I think it's lie. So you think show me paper. Oh. oh my daughter. Uh -huh. This is not a laughing matter. It is a very serious matter. Mama. Don't joke with it. Oh. Don't joke with it. <sighs> eh. Mama, what? What if she pregnant? I born before her now. I don't want. <laughs> I know. I know. But you know he hasn't paid your bride price. And I already have a baby for him. And she's pregnant. <laughs> don't worry. Let her be pregnant. Don't worry. Mama? 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 Get back to the village. Mm -hmm. uh, Mama Chica.
Kuaneta a child wakes up is her money. Why is it that all not up there? Hmm? Stitching time saves nine. <laughs> time has come when you will have to sleep with one eye open. Because a battle line is about to be drawn between you and Julie, your rival. But I listen to me first. Just listen. Don't forget that a man is the head of the family. And what the man desires most is a male child. Don't also forget that what you have in this house is a baby girl. When she grows up, she will marry and leave this house. The reverse may be the case if she gives birth to a baby boy. Hey, hey, there is danger. Yeah. Mama, call on those days when you people have this traditional belief. Mama, our eyes have opened. A child is a child. A boy or oh, a girl or oh. a child is a child. Just listen to yourself. Ghana the child, Ghana the days. You open your eyes. Yeah. Huh? Girl or boy, can you hear yourself? What an elder sees sitting down. Even if a child climbs an Iroko tree, he cannot see it. Eh? Be wise. Open your eyes. See them before they see you. Before they look at you, you have seen everybody. Count everything. I've heard, Mama. Let me go to the kitchen. It's all right. Cook food, though. And cook other things for your husband. Because man shall not live by bread alone. Cook. Going back to the village. Thanks. Okay, till then. I'll see you when I get back, okay? is married to a very rich man. Mm. I don't know see it. I don't need to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just be seeing things in their eyes. Mama. Huh? Mama. Huh? Mama. It is all yours now. Yeah. Mama. See this Wait. Let me see this one. Huh. I want to see this one first. <laughs> yeah? This one is good. They'll go together. It's good. It's good. Okay. How do you? What is this one? Open it now. <laughs> Kitchen. Oh. Put it 
人にはね感じるしかないです。そんなやパチスパチスないで。えへなままえへ。えへ。まあ。
Sin darme o voto. Não. Ai, me livre de ser raiva. Diz uma. Ah! Em facto, a não posição. Me enquete. Ué? Diz esse bato. Me. I will fight her. I will fight her well. I want to hurt her. I want to inflict some double injury on her. Oh, God help me. Okay, Chief. Thank God for my daughter. At least I'm a man. What sort of man am I? What is pregnant? What is pregnant? Master, I am long overdue. This is the twelfth month. What is happening to me? Sister Julie, do you remember that in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4? The Lord says that for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. I want you to know that this your condition shall be a testimony and that God's hand has already befallen you. Now let us pray. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father Lord Almighty, we thank you. We thank you, God, because you are the Alpha and the Omega. We thank you, Lord, because you are the beginning and the end. We thank you, O Lord, for you promised that no weapon ever fashioned against your children shall prosper. Thank you, O oh Lord, for giving us a chance to thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey. Ah. Oh, buddy. Oh. Ah. 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 Hey, girl. Julie, what's the matter? Ah. Julie, what's the matter? What's the matter? Uh, I think we should see the doctor immediately. Uh, I think we have to postpone the appointment to some other time. Uh, you can see Juliet isn't feeling. Uh, Sorry. Uh, so you don't want to take me to the place that I'm going because of this. Okay, the appointment has to be postponed to some other time. Look, you just have to be taken care of now. You try and understand. Uh,
my take this money away from you. Uh, ah, Mama, oh. Mama told me. Oh, eh. ah. six years of medical experience, I have practically encountered and conquered so many complex cases that I've definitely not seen a case with the nature of your wife's present situation. Ah. Ah. Uh. In fact, it is beyond medical definition. Uh. Um, Charles, I will suggest prayer as mm. the only solution ah. in this case for now. God. I'm so sorry to say this, Charles. But my instinct tells me there is something extraordinary about your wife's present situation. Oh, God. God! Just take it easy. Mm. Jehovah God, are you no longer God? Have you ceased to reign? Have you ceased to be God in my time? God, I have been a barren woman.
good day, sir. How can I help you, sir? My identity is little important my mission. What mission, sir? I'm only but a messenger who is sent to deliver a message of calamity that will befall on you. You have two wives and you have lived with your first wife without any child. You've been thinking that you are responsible for your childlessness. But no, my son. The truth is that your first wife, who is presently 12 months pregnant without delivery, is the architect of your calamities. She is deadly committed to the spiritual world to deal with you torment you and eventually take your soul. You must be very careful, my son. Old one, how do you expect me to believe all you've said? How? If you want to know if my message is true and divine, when you get home, search her bags thoroughly. Beneath it, you will find a little bottle which contains human blood, which can never dry. She uses this in preparing your meals in order to blindfold you and bring you under her control. Be wise, my son. If you continue living in the same house with her, calamity will befall you. I am only but a messenger. I'm so sorry to say this, Jazz, but my instinct tells me there is something extraordinary about your wife's present situation.
anything with my child Mama. and takes it. Yes. More of Susanna. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I cannot believe that. Me, okay. Hey, he's the only wife in this house. You are the only wife? Who else? <laughs> 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 Mama, my husband said that he was going to come to the village to come and pay my bride price formally. <laughs> After paying the bride price, not the traditional money. Very big one! <laughs> 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 oh. Hey! Good. It is now that you prove to the entire village that you are not a prostitute that they used to gossip. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <Huh? Mama. laughs> gossip? Gossip people. Find them. Yes, huh? No child of mine, no Abu Susanna. Child of mine will be useless. Huh? <laughs> Try to convince your husband to buy me expensive abada eh? uh, damask mama <laughs> trust me now mama <laughs> it is now that we shoot the entire village that Ikechi is getting married to a very rich man very rich mama <laughs> Doing us good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that there's so much hardship in the village. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. Mama, it's even good that you're here. I was actually thinking of having to send your August meeting money to you at home. Oh, Thank God you're oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> My son, August meeting is fast approaching. That is why I said, let me come and see you people. Uh -huh. Mama, this August meeting. <laughs> it is the talking town. My fellow women have since prepared in a big way for this August meeting. Mama, don't worry. Don't worry. Let them prepare in a big way, okay? Let them prepare in a big way. I assure you that my mother-in-law will be on top. Hey. Always. I am already on top. <laughs> Always, Mama. You have let me on top. <laughs> hey, look at me. I'm already on top, Mama. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Well, welcome. Yeah. Um, sweetheart, have you given Mama something to eat? Mama, mm -hmm. what do you want? Uh, I will rest first, <laughs> then later I'll eat my own phone. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you say one day you'll stay for that half to expire. You'll stay, don't expire. Okay, four children. One, two, three, four. From different mothers. 
But the last one I'm kitchen. I must, I must call him my trip. To bring all of them come back. Hey! My hotel drive me because of the level of evil man. But thank God I've done better. I'll be sure I do so. Not the service I get. I'll go, go bring all of them back. I want to be a responsible man. Settle, marry. Get I still love you. I love you. If you love me, I'll marry you. Please take care of our children. Life done better. <laughs> My government don't say a good day like this now, but today life done better. <laughs> Oh, that don't better. Father, you have killed the king and the Lord of Christ. I wash you with blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command you, you evil one, that is keeping her from giving birth. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. I say, out in the mighty name of Jesus.
me. Tell me the truth. you think of all this when you humiliated her in front of the whole world and took your maid as a wife? Sandra, please just believe me. I, I wasn't myself. I wasn't myself. Believe me. I was deceived by Nkichi and her wicked mother. Please, please, I, I beg you. Charles, I'm sorry I can't help you. I can't. And if you don't mind, I'm going out. Sandra, Sandra, you can leave me. You can just leave me and go, please. You, you can help me. Charles, I'm going for fellowship. I can't help you. You, you can help me. You're my wife's best friend. Just let me see her and talk to her. Let me appeal to her, please. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry for whatever I've done. But, but please, just let me see. You can just walk out. Sandra, I beg you. I beg you. If you're sorry, you don't have to tell me. Go home, kneel down, and ask God to forgive you. This is all I have to tell you. I can't go home. I don't have a wife. I don't have a home. So where do you want me to go to? I need my wife to make a home. So I beg you, you can do this to me. Please, I, please, I, I'm sorry. I, I really am sorry. I, Oh, 
it. Listen to him, Judy. Sweetheart. I, I, I know that I've sinned against you. Huh? And against humanity. That I am no longer worthy to ask for your forgiveness. But please, I, I am sorry for all what I've done. I, I really am. And I, I beg you. I, I beg you to find a place in your heart to forgive me. I, I, I now realize that my life can never be can never be complete without you. Please, sweetheart. Forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Julie, please. Listen to him. Please. If there is no sin, there will be no forgiveness. As you can see, that he is now repentant of his sin. Speaking for forgiveness. Please, please. Can I have your baby? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Not his baby. Your baby. He, he remains your husband and you're the wife. And it is for better and for worse. Please. We've been praying for reconciliation. Please, Jimmy, please. The Lord has won this battle to air his human and to forgive his divine. Yeah. 